All right, we are going to be doing crafty proofs with triangles. And please remember, I've already gone through this in class, so I'm going to go through at my speedy pace. You can always press pause, go back and repeat the bits that you're not clear on. Okay, friends, we are going to try and find the area of this triangle. So uh, one of the easiest and most obvious ways to do that is to just count up the squares, which sounds awesome. Nice, easy, no brainer, a little bit inefficient, but that's fine. But then if I count them up here, we get that problem that we're all aware of, that I've got all these partial squares. They're not, you know, that's not a half. I don't know what, I don't know what to do with those. So then I need to start having a system. Um, and then if I, if I maybe just take a look, I had someone in uh, at one of our classes suggest if I just turn my spare triangle there, if I doubled it, then that actually makes it a rectangle, especially clear with a right triangle. So to prove that, I said, okay, if I put this together, my triangle will turn into a rectangle if I double it. If I put my two triangles together on what's called the hypotenuse, this long, the longest line of the triangle is the hypotenuse. If I do that, I end up with a triangle that is, I have the area of my triangle half of the rectangle that I formed. So there is my track, these are my triangles, they're all the same size. But if I put them, put two of them together, I have a rectangle which again, very easy now, they are all perfect units and I get to 44. And I've got that because I know that the area of a rectangle is the base, which in this case is four times the height, which was 11. And that is a very easy calculation to make. When I just add up all of those, that's 44, cut it in half for my triangle. And I now have a very handy formula telling me that the area of my triangle is half of the base times height. So you've been told this before, but this is why and how it works. This is when we put it all together. That's my area of a triangle. So um, not satisfied because that worked with one triangle. Let's try it with. Okay, are we all Gucci? Everybody understand? I'm going to give you a visual of all the images that we did and then the next video we'll talk about parallelograms. Okay, so that has been showing you a visual crafty little proof, something you can do with your own. I've just taken out paper from my notebook, my maths notebook, um, to prove that the area of a triangle is half the base times height.